The Mysterious Bacchus Painting by Leonardo da Vinci. Bacchus is the Roman name for the Greek god of wine. It's also known as Dionysus. Dionysus is closely associated with both Osiris and Orion and Asclepius. Can we see any of Leonardo's signature hidden encryptions inside of this lesser known work of art? Let's have a look. First, can you see the scorpion at Bacchus's feet? Then can you spot the serpent snake wrapped around his arm and on his lap while he's seated? This snake was actually painted over in the 19th century, replacing the python print with leopard skin. But what else can we see? Let's have a closer look. The serpent on his lap, you can see his head and his finger pointed to its eye. The scorpion at his feet, the rod of Asclepius, the great sphinx off in the distance, Sobek, which is the crocodile god, and the infinity symbol over the tree of life. And then an elephant. Can you see the ox skull up at the top? and then the shadow self that looks demonic over his left shoulder. And then a demon subdued, maybe meaning that he's subduing his demons. The, of course, the triple crown up at the top, thrice crowned. Now this is Ophiuchus constellation, known as the serpent bearer. It's the sitting God. The serpent wrapped around his arm and on his lap, just as we've seen in Bacchus painting, the crown as well. The scorpion at his feet. Can we see something else? Can we look even closer? Is this writing here on the backside of the scorpion? What does this writing say? There you can see it. Actually, it says Tav Aleph or Aleph Tav, read backwards, which means Alpha Omega. This is Ophiuchus, the 13th Zodiac. It's opposite Orion Osiris in the sky. Ophiuchus, known as a serpent bearer, sits in between Scorpio and Sagittarius. It's known as the 13th Zodiacal sign. Is this painting of Bacchus actually, more appropriately, Ophiuchus? the matching sitting stance and the snake on his lap and wrapped in his arms. Well, let's look at Osiris and Orion opposite Ophiuchus in the night sky. The boastful hunter and known womanizer, Orion, who wanted to conquer everything, was also represented on the Giza Plateau as the three belt stars represent the position of the three pyramids. In the mythology, Orion was stung by a scorpion and he was saved by Ophiuchus, Asclepius, with his rod. This god of medicine saved him, a metaphor possibly for the merger of the conscious mind and the subconscious mind. Did the scorpion sting result in an actual death of Orion or was it just an egoic death of the boastful hunter going from the boastful Orion to the wise Ophiuchus who is in control of his Kundalini life force? This merger representing the superconscious mind The superconscious mind represents the balance, the perfect balance of masculine and feminine energies, the heart-brain coherence. But does this also pretend a possible change in DNA as an accompaniment to this achievement of the superconscious and emergent superconscious mind? The superconscious mind represents also the shift in the zodiac. Ophiuchus is exactly opposite Orion. Is Orion actually just the missing 114th? of the zodiac, now adding the 13th and 14th zodiacal signs. We also notice the thrice crowned crown is matching that of the hierophant sitting next to the elephant in the Ophiuchus or Bacchus painting. Does this shift actually represent a crown chakra activation as well?